Global Banking and Finance Review Awards reflect the innovation, achievement, strategy, progressive and inspirational changes taking place within the global financial community. The awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes, prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. Today we are pleased to award NMB Bank Best Retail Bank Tanzania 2023. With headquarters in Dar es Salaam, NMB is a leading financial solutions provider in Tanzania with over 200 branches across every major city and town. There's a strong commitment to financial inclusion, particularly in reaching small businesses, farmers and individuals. NMB has over 3,000 employees coming together from all walks of life, offering various expertise to bring forth the best customer experience through financial solutions. The bank is a major leader in banking technology, giving customers and clients ease of access to all its facilities and services. NMB is a proud winner of many important awards, including Global Banking and Finances Award for Best Retail Bank Tanzania 2023. The bank's head of investor relations, Innocent Yonazi, came to our London studio to receive the award and to talk more about the background to NMB's success. Innocent, welcome to London. Uh, congratulations, by the way, on the award for being the best retail bank in Tanzania, uh, and well done to you. Thank you so much. It's a great honor and a privilege for me to be here. And as NMB Bank, we're very thankful for the award that has been bestowed onto bank, into the bank, that is NMB Bank, for being the best retail bank in Tanzania. We are very thankful. Well, that's wonderful. Let's find out a bit more about the bank and the services you provide, if we may. What are the factors that have contributed to your success in the, in the retail banking sector? Thank you so much. I mean, if we trace back the factors that have very much contributed to the success of uh, NMB Bank and the retail bank franchise of the bank, I will say that uh, ever since our inception, we have been very much deliberate in terms of the strategic investments we have made in the key fronts of uh, technology, digital, as well as people. We have also been very deliberate in ensuring that we leverage on the strong governance frameworks to ensure that we create a business that is not only fit for purpose, but a fit for growth. So the quality of our investments, the quality of our people, as well as the unique services and solutions that we provide to the Tanzanians is what sets us apart as a business. And indeed, you've had a very successful, since last year, 25 years success right across Tanzania. Uh, can you share some of the, the key milestones and also some of the achievements that you're particularly proud of? So, NMB Bank, to be honest, it's a bank that uh, has a very much rich heritage in Tanzania, spanning over 25 years of impactful operations within Tanzania. And if we look back in terms of the milestones that we have achieved, I'll say that uh, we have achieved so much together with our key stakeholders, that is our customers, that is our shareholders, as well as the government of Tanzania, who is a key strategic ally for the bank. And uh, if we look individually in terms of the milestones, just to take you back in 1997 when the bank was uh, established, if you look at the branch network, we had less than 99 branches. But the investments that we have made, currently we are speaking about more than 200 branches that we have across Tanzania. And that makes NMB Bank to be a unique bank that touches each and every district and every corner of Tanzania. The investments that we have made in terms of uh, the technological front as well as the digital uh, solutions have also been very much at the forefront of driving the successes that we have had. Currently, as we speak, we're a bank that uh, not only has uh, an internet banking platform that is very much up and running, but uh, we provide services seamlessly through mobile banking. And uh, this has very much increased the number of uh, customer base that we have because it allows us in the whole customer journey to onboard as well as to manage the whole customer life cycle in a seamless manner. So the milestones that we have had, as I said earlier, is the investments that we have made not only in the branch network, but the successes that we have had. We are coming from a very small bank in 1997 that was not fully fledged. It was mostly a microfinance bank. But as we speak right now, we are a fully fledged commercial bank that is number one in Tanzania in terms of profitability. And within the East African community, we remain the number three bank in terms of profitability. So those are the key milestones that I'll say. An impressive list too. Uh, we'll come on a little bit to technology a little bit later on, if we may. That's something you, you mentioned there. I know you're also a, a leading financial uh, solutions provider in your country. Um, what would you say the key initiatives or strategies uh, that your bank has, which actually have made you a, a leader and an, uh, something apart from the main competitors? What has really set us apart uh, amongst our competitors is that uh, we have 
driven a very much balanced interplay between strategy and governance. From a strategic perspective, we have invested in areas that not only drive inroads within the areas of our core strength, let it be the branch network, let it be the digital channels that we have, but let us be the capabilities that we already have in terms of the areas of retail banking. But we have also ensured that we invested significantly in the areas of corporate governance so as to create a business that is not only fit for purpose, but fit for growth. So that is pretty much what has set us apart. The quality of interplay between strategy and governance. And I know that it's very important for you and for other countries in the developing world uh, to actually aim for financial inclusion. It's, it's a significant goal in many cases. Uh, how does NMB Bank actually play a role in driving that financial inclusion, would you say, particularly in reaching small businesses, for instance, uh, farmers and individuals like that? So NMB Bank, in terms of financial inclusion, I'll say that the bank is very much at the forefront of driving financial inclusion in Tanzania. This is not only a strategic focus for the bank, but is a, it is a commitment that the bank has as one, a strategic ally to the government in driving social economic development in Tanzania. Because we believe as a country, the only way we're going to ensure sustainable development, inclusive growth, is driving financial inclusion and ensuring that the majority of people, they are brought into the banking sector. A number of things we have done at this front. One is the investments. The investments that we do and we continue to do on the digital front is what continues to yield positive results. Our ability to ensure that our customers can be onboarded, customers can transact using technology, has been such a successful factor in terms of driving financial inclusion. As we speak, in the previous year, we have had commendable success in terms of the number of customers that we've been able to bring into the banking front, whereby we onboarded more than 1 million customer accounts. And this just goes further to show that currently, as we speak, NMB Bank is the bank that is leading in Tanzania in terms of the customer base. We have more than 6 million customer accounts. And our focus and our purpose is to, I mean, to continue to ensure that we grow this base further. So the quality of the investments that we're doing, especially on the digital front, the vast network of our distribution channels, as well as our commitment to ensure financial inclusion is what is driving the financial inclusion agenda for the bank and for the country, that is Tanzania at large. Now, now you are one of the largest commercial banks in, in, in Tanzania. Uh, how does your bank, NMB, actually tailor for the needs of your individuals, your customers, the special services that you're able to provide for them, for instance, for entrepreneurs, uh, women, youth, uh, and also agribusiness agri as well? We pride ourselves as a, a bank for the people. NMB Bank is a bank that is very much on the ground in Tanzania to ensure that uh, we reach and we touch the lives of each and every bucket of Tanzanian community. If you talk about the youth, we have a unique youth proposition whereby our focus and our purpose is to ensure that the youth are brought into the banking sector. If you talk about women, uh, you'll be very much aware that uh, we have come up with ingenious ways and uh, innovative solutions to ensure that we contribute significantly into driving the financial inclusion of women and uh, impacting on the Sustainable Development Goal 5, which is uh, talking about equality and economic empowerment of women by, one, issuing a bond that was very much successful. The gender bond that we issued last year, it's not only the first one within the Sub-Saharan Africa, it is the first one to be listed in the stock exchange, making NMB Bank at the forefront of innovation in terms of driving financial inclusion through innovative products. And uh, when you speak about, let's say, farmers and the whole agriculture value chain, we are the first bank in Tanzania to set aside two, more than TZS 200 billion that was issued uh, for loans on uh, special interest rates of no less than 9%, just to ensure that we tackle the problem of uh, the supply side of our finances to the farmers. So we continue to come up with innovative ways innovative solutions and products and solutions that very much cater for these unbanked and marginalized communities within the country. And uh, we continue to see positive results. So you're front. actually looking at individuals in great detail, which is excellent. Yes. Uh, you have, of course, a very wide distribution network. Uh, you alluded earlier on to the technology. Tell me a little bit about how that technology has transformed NMB uh, and its services to customers and what you see for being the future regarding technology. I think technology right now, it's very much underpinning the way banking sector operates, not only for NMB Bank, but for the global banking sector at large. The events that uh, we have seen recently, especially at global level, the COVID-19 being uh, one among them, has very much shaped the way customers interact with banks, the way banks operate, as more importantly, the way the interplay between uh, services and uh, demand for products is uh, very much guided at the moment. So technology, during the COVID era, technology was the salvaging uh, factor 
for why we had continuity in terms of issuance of banking services. So with technology right now, we are able to provide seamless services. We are able to provide uh, services at a lower cost because with technology comes not only operational efficiency, but, but cost efficiency as well. So technology is very much shaping the demand as well as the supply side of the banking sector. And for NMB Bank, we continue to leverage on technology to ensure that we reach the masses, to ensure that we provide uh, tailor-made products, but to, more importantly, to ensure that we provide services that are seamless and cost efficient. So, as you said, COVID had a, a great deal to do with uh, the development of technology uh, as a case of necessity, really, uh, and you've actually been able to, to, to utilise that successfully. Let's look ahead to the future, if we may, uh, and uh, see what the challenges and opportunities uh, are actually in store for you at the moment uh, in the coming years, and indeed how you plan to stay ahead of the competition. So the challenges that, and the opportunities that uh, we see are very much linked to the macro, global macro landscape and uh, the demands, the customer and consumer demands that are continue to evolve in a very fa fast, fast race. So what we see, the challenges that are, we're going to face, not only as NMB Bank, but as a global banking sector at large, is that uh, one, the cybersecurity. This is something that uh, it's very much a serious and a significant challenge that banks must grapple with, but must grapple with strategically so that to ensure that there are proper risk mitigants and management of this risk, let it be inherent as well as emerging so that we safeguard the businesses that we have. But uh, from opportunities perspective, what I see is the emergence of uh, products and solutions demands that are very much mirroring the lifestyle of the future. In the future, people will need services at a fingertip. In the future, people will need services and solutions at a more faster rate. So technology is the only way that you can be able to tackle those customer demands in terms of time, as well as in terms of uh, efficiency, as well as ease of provision of services. So those are the opportunities that we see, as well as uh, the opportunities that we see in other areas, including sustainable financing. People currently are becoming very much aware in terms of the importance of ensuring sustainability of not only of the services, but sustainability of the business and franchise at large. So products within the realms of sustainability will also present such a significant opportunity for NMB Bank, and we are very much geared to ensure that we leverage and we optimize on those uh, opportunities so they present themselves. Obviously, very clear plans for the future, obviously challenging times as well. But in the meantime, thank you so much for coming to London to talk to us today. And once again, congratulations on the Global Banking and Finance Award. Thank you so much. It has been a great pleasure. And uh, at Enemy Bank, we're very thankful for this award. Thank you. Mm -hmm.